So now that we have our intents built out and ready, let's focus on our slot types. So we're gonna click this plus icon here and create our slot types. So what I'm gonna do is have some type of naming convention. So I'll call it uh, subway uh, bread type. So that'll be the convention. We'll always start with subway. We'll have some type of item here, whether it's bread, sauce, and then a type, okay? So this will specify So we'll say Italian And we'll keep everything in lowercase Italian white whole grain Okay, so we'll leave that alone and then we're gonna add this slot to this intent There we go. So right away we see slot one is going to be a subway bread type Let's keep adding uh, more intents. So subway uh, size type. This will be size of the sub. We'll focus on six inch, 12 inch. Okay, so there's that. Subway um, sauce, sauce type. So let's focus on uh, the sauce, sauce of the sub. Uh, let's see if we can do tomato sauce, barbecue sauce, um, ranch sauce. Okay, we'll add that. So we got bread sauce size. Subway uh, toppings and temperature. So toppings type um, types of toppings for sub, and this one will be so we'll say peppers. Pickles, lettuce, um, mushrooms, and that's it there. Add it to the slot. And the last slot I like to focus on is the temperature. So subway temp type, okay? And this will be um, temperature of the sub. And this one we will do, let's see, temperature of the sub, um, it can be warm, it can be hot, it can be cold. Okay, perfect. So now that we have our intents, um, we're gonna, what's it, or our slots, we have our slot types. What I'd like to do in the next video is organize these or set these up uh, so that way they can match our utterances. So um, that'll be in the next video. And then we'll focus on some error handling and then get into some tests. So see you in the next video.